here's a quick recap on how to expand a single bracket. So this is where we've got something in a bracket and then a term outside. So what this example means, we want three lots of whatever is inside the bracket. Now, I can't do what's inside the bracket because I've got a letter, but I can expand the bracket. The first thing to do is to expand by multiplying the x by 3. So that would give me three lots of x. I can then expand the second term. Three lots of 8 would be plus 24. And I know it's plus 24 because this is positive 8. And although it's not written here, this would be positive 3. The second example, this time I've got x times by x. So a number times by itself or a letter times by itself, we write as squared. Then x times positive 3 would give me positive lots of 3x. Here we've got 2x outside of the brackets. So this is 2x times x. So that is 2x squared. And then 2x times negative 4. Now this is a plus 2x times by a negative. So that means my answer is negative. 2 times 4 is 8. And then don't forget, I was multiplying by the x as well. In this example, I can do the 3 times 5. That gives me 15. And then the x times x is x squared. 3x times by plus 1, that's just one lot of 3x. For the last example here, I've got a negative x. Negative x times 3x, so negative times a positive, would give me negative 3x squared. And then negative x times, and now I've got another negative. And if we remember, a negative times a negative will give me a positive. So that would be positive 8x. And with each of these examples, it doesn't matter which way round you write your answer, as long as the sign in front of the term is correct. So for example, I could write this last um, answer here as 8x minus 3x squared.